It's the network. That I'm noticing, world star hip hop. I, I I typically do a lot of business on uh, Facebook and Instagram, but mainly Instagram. But what I'm noticing is that, and it is. It's very rare when I get a chance to do this, but when I get a chance, I like to look at it. When I'll see someone who has the same amount of followers as me, the same type of likes and comment ratio as well. And then I'll see them put a post on um, through Worldstar. And I, I like to look at it. I like to look at it within like a 24 hour period to see what kind of engagement they got. And what I'm noticing is that when people are doing that stuff on Worldstar, they're not really getting no, no kickback on a return. Because they, and within 24 hours, they still got the same, the same amount of followers, the same amount of likes that they had when they first posted it. So with that being said, I guess my question is, are we kind of like doing away with World Star as far as promoting? Is that like a, a way of the past at this point? Um, yes and no. Like, it's not necessary like it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, three, four years ago, that's all artists had or world star. Um, and then just the platform engagement was different. You know, a lot of these bigger outlets, they've been, they're, they've been established for so long that they had really hot periods. Like, YouTube accounts that had a million followers on YouTube in 2014, that a million followers translated different than a million followers a day. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes they benefit from that. Um, and then we have to look at World Star for what it is, at its base, it's just an influencer account, right? Most of the time, if you do any type of influencer campaign, unless you already have a significant amount of brand awareness and people already know who you are, you're not gonna see much return out of it anyway. It usually takes being posted to these accounts or being put in front of these audiences multiple times before you start to see your engagement go up. So your first World Star post may not do crazy your second one might do okay your third one might be all right and your fourth one might be great because every time that you've done it people have started to recognize you there the problem with world star is that world star is eight thousand dollars upload so you know what i'm saying so like let's look at somebody like blueface uh i think blueface got on world star like six or seven times before bust down Thaliana blew up so he spent what like fifty thousand dollars just like world star post alone before shit went up where it's like we know that with ads, eight thousand dollars, like eight thousand dollars in, in YouTube ad spend, I could get you a million views easy, like easy. I could probably get you like two million views on eight thousand dollars ad spend. I have we've had clients before that have paid for World Star posts. Like I had a client that came to me last year really early on. He paid for a World Star post. It got like forty thousand views on World Star, and you know what I'm saying it maybe translates about 10, 15 k on his own YouTube account. And I was like, damn, bro, like I could have gotten you fifteen k for you know, way less than eight thousand dollars. But it's like, so it's like if you. If you're someone that has the budget for it and you can afford to show out like the 30 to 40 to 50 K to work the type of market in here, it can work long term. But if you don't, like a one off world star post ain't really about to do shit for you. Unless it's just like some super viral shit, you know what I'm saying? But like a one off anything in that type of environment, that's anything. Like even if it's like a DJ Academics or let's say like an at rap on Instagram, any of those big accounts is like the first time, you probably not gonna really see a lot of that. But the second and third, what you're doing is building up for the second, third, and fourth time. So then it becomes like, you know, about how, what's the most bang for your buck? You know, like I personally wouldn't pay for a World Star post unless just we had a client that just really, really wanted it and they just really could afford to pay for it. Um, or unless, like I said, we had like a bigger artist who had a certain amount of brand equity there. Even then, I personally am a much bigger fan of if you're going to be spending that type of money, then you should be trying to build up your own platform. Cause the other thing with those type of things, like if you get on world star and your video gets a million views, like you didn't get a million views, world star got a million views. You know what I'm saying? So like, yes, you get the brand awareness that comes from it and the brand association, but the actual direct traffic goes to their account. You know what I'm saying? So like when people are clicking through it and finding on shit, it's your music, but it's leading them back to their account. So it's like, yes, you may not get, you know, you may not get 30, 40,000 followers out the gate by doing it your way on your own account. You might only get 300, 400 followers, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you're just building up your own account's brand equity. And like, it's a lot of artists, bro. You're going to start to see, especially a lot of these bigger artists um, who kind of came up during that era of not putting their shit on their own account. 
they were putting their shit on like these other accounts. A lot of artists are hurt because when your buzz kind of dies down or whatever your initial traffic source dies down, it kind of becomes that stack of content that you have that's still driving the activity on your page because that content lives and flies out. So it's all these artists who put their biggest videos on like, like we have a client who his biggest song ever, he put it on another YouTube account. And now he's in the process of building up his own YouTube account. It's like he doesn't even have the music video for his biggest song ever. It's licensed to another music video. It's licensed to another YouTube account because that was the game at the time that he was coming up. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you you put all your stuff on that. It worked at the time. Um, so yeah, bro. I'm like I said, if somebody came to me and was like, yo, bro, I had 8K and they wanted to go between World Stars and other shit, I would all day be like, other shit. <laughs> Uh, you know, other I shit all like, day. I feel like I feel like a thousand to fifteen after everything I done seen, man. I, I'm a student of the game. I pay attention to everything. I done seen too many people jump on there and not get enough return. And I, I was yeah. able to get uh eighty eighty thousand views on off of Facebook ad for pretty much eighty dollars, really. So yeah, I feel is. like it's the network.